If the current state of the economy hasn't been tough enough on the recreational angler, then the new fluke regulations put forth by New York State is bound to be a knockout blow. New York State is forced to comply with tough regulations from the federal government. Fluke now will have to be 21 inches to be a keeper, and you're only allowed two fish per day. Not only that, you're restricted to only fishing 78 days during the fishing season. Captain Joe Vandevelt of the Jib 6 and many other captry head boats will be allowed to fish when the season is closed, however. Since we bought this poundage and the permits, the proper permits, it allows us to fish out of season. We have to follow the same regulations that we do recreational, but at least we can continue to fish for these fish, you know. And uh, up until we use up that poundage, you know, if we catch a lot of big fish, then we could use, you know, theoretically use up that poundage fairly quick. But, um, you know, we should have a fair amount so that we can get through at least the closed parts of the season and uh, maybe then some, you know. But I've never seen so many fluke in my life, and I've been here since 1976. So, and fluke and then was good, you know, when I first started fishing, but it's nothing like what I see now with the size of the fish and the amount of the fish around. It's, you know, their regs are, you know, their uh, statistics are all wrong. It's whatever they're basing their, their facts on is, like, totally screwed up. They've admitted it, and they don't want to do anything about it. I spoke to Jim Hutchinson of the RFA to find out more about the data that was used to manage the fluke fishery. Uh, it has to do with the federal fisheries law, Magnus and Stevens. And in that law, it states that we have to rebuild the summer flounder fluke population to an absolute number within a certain time frame. And if we're not on target to hit that magic number within the allotted time frame, then any fish that we catch that drives to that number for that line downward instead of upward is considered overfishing. We're not overfishing. The summer flounder fluke population is better than it's ever been in a 40-year history of fisheries management. But because we're forced to reach a magic number in a magic time frame, anything that drives us off that line forces us to cut back on the limits. Now, what happens here in New York, which is really, really terrible, is that The Marine Recreational Fishing Statistical Survey, it's called MERS, which is used to count how many fish recreational anglers actually catch. In 2008, it showed that New York anglers actually fished above their quota. Uh, It doesn't make any sense. The science used for this MERS survey is called fatally flawed. It's what all fishing experts and regulators and management officials say is useless, but because it's the best available science they have, they have to go with it. So since New York apparently or allegedly fished over their limit in 2008. they got to pay that back in 2009, which means even though the population of fluke is better than it's ever been, New Yorkers are getting screwed into having to fish on this terrible, terrible limit. So the only way that we can get around this at this point is, well, New York has this lawsuit in place, and there's a possibility that we can get some type of intervention that way, a court injunction perhaps. Mike McGrath, a South Shore angler, had this to say about the new regulations. Well, I feel that 78 days of fishing is absolutely ridiculous, that my fluke season is going to end on August 17th, when at the least it should make it to Labor Day weekend. Tackle shop owner Scott Leonard of Augie's Bait and Tackle in Babylon Village expects to be dramatically affected. It's probably going to knock everything off 40, 50 percent. In the summertime, uh, they're going to have to eat try to do uh, other types of fishing. You're going to have, in August, after it shuts, locally here in Babylon, they'll have to go snapper fishing, maybe do some porgy fishing, hopefully to be some weak fish around, maybe some bluefish. It's going to be a tough summer. Yeah, it's going to be a tough summer. From the Captured Boat Basin on the south shore of Long Island, I'm Tim C. Smith for SkimmerOutdoors.com.